So at that time, when he thought about the deluge, so you, you looked it up in books, obviously, he studied it, so Michelangelo had done one. So then he, you and your team take a trip, you go to Rome, and you go to have a look at the painting, right? Mm -hmm. As well as the other Michelangelo assistant chap, whatever the, there mm -hmm. is in the digital. And you study it, and then you're, what was your reaction? Did you, what was that? For some way, because of a friend of yours, John Mercurio, we got into mm -hmm. the Sistine Chapel alone, so we got mm -hmm. to view the ceiling alone and so right. that was really I one of the very profound experiences I've had with art. You can really see, you know, mm -hmm. the enormity of it, of, of the accomplishment, how it's still so relevant today, how it still yeah. so speaks. It really is pop art because, yeah. you know, it's so widely reproduced. Everyone in the world recognizes it. Michelangelo, the, 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 the famous, you know, creation of Adam. I think the deluge is probably one of the least known panels because Michelangelo thought it was his most unsuccessful. Mm -hmm. It was the first panel that he painted in the mm -hmm. Sistine Chapel and he painted the figures very small and because they were so far away when he came down to the floor and he mm -hmm. looked up he realized that they were too small to make out. Mm -hmm. So he became bolder and bolder and, and simplified and towards the end of the um, that's my reading, you know, of, of, of the experience of painting it. Towards the end, you know, he was being very was super, just simple, mm -hmm. just a figure mm -hmm. against a blank background. Mm -hmm. So, the Deluge is not very well known of that most pop art of all, which is the Sistine Chapel. I mean, it's been mm -hmm. reproduced on mugs and, mm -hmm. you know, posters and calendars and postcards. And, right. You know, it's it's really. Everyone in the world yeah. knows what this painting is and what it is. Yeah. So I love the idea of taking pop art, you know, Michelangelo as a pop artist, and yeah. and and I, you know, on one level, another level was the fear of this flood of the future, right. where you have the biblical flood, and now we have the flood of the future that everyone's thinking about. And and the flood I use in a loose term, meaning climactic change, you know, meaning the end of humanity or a drastic change right. in the world that we live in. And everyone's thinking about this. So the young people are very concerned about this. There's people thinking about the interns in my studio. You know, we're watching the documentaries and, and people are becoming very aware. Mm -hmm. And then when we had Katrina and, and in America, and there's been, there's been crazy sort of weather patterns all over the world. So, you know, this is a mm -hmm. very, it's in everyone's mind. Yeah, people, lot, yeah, of course there was a tsunami a few years ago also. Yeah, and then, you know, so it, it's, it's a global threat, even though the most recent well, one was in. Yeah, and now with also with because we are, we get our information so quickly, we're yeah. seeing the results, yeah. and everyone has a video camera, everyone That's has right. a camera on their phone, so we're seeing it firsthand. You know, um, yeah. so images of of this kind of magnitude yeah. are, are affecting people, and yeah. one way of addressing your fears is is to you know make make art, you know, make, yeah. create something yeah. to address your fears. I've always done that. But within that, I'm looking at it as also, you know, this is for me a hopeful picture yeah, because yeah. people are helping each other. There's a sense of, there's no fighting, mm -hmm. even though, you know, the time, time is running out. We're at our, mm -hmm. we're at our last moment here, you know, in this, in this photograph, um, as in the deluge, Mm -hmm. of the Sistine Chapel, people were helping one another That's instead right, of yeah. fighting yeah. each other. Yeah. And even though the, this may be the last moments. It's, that's right. It's, it's beyond, the end beyond, of, all of, beyond all of that uh, unruly Yeah. Attempt, you have the best in humanity. Behavior and, yeah, exactly, you yeah. know, you have the best in yeah. humanity of people, yeah, you know. Up, yeah. But I think what's important, what I was trying to say before was that with the traditional grand painting, which was there with uh, maybe with Egyptian friezes, it was there with the Roman, uh, even in Pompeii with the murals, and certainly with Michelangelo and various people like that, which continued all the way through the neoclassical period with David, and especially Jericho and uh, Delacroix uh, with the grand paintings. Uh, you see this tradition of having depiction of these grand images stopped and that form of painting telling a story was left to the cinema 
as really the cinema which has taken over that job. And in fact, the whole business of the nude figure, the, the human figure, was thrown out of churches, thrown out of religious places, thrown out of uh, all places of worship. And so the places of worship became dark movie theaters where you can go and watch and jerk off or fuck or whatever you do. And so that's where they became a separate industry. Suddenly the flesh became a huge, gigantic money machine. And so as much as it was thought to be unworthy of being in a separate place, yet there's a hypocrisy because by separation they conquer and they make more money out of it and it becomes a massive business. And so it loses its significance in terms of telling a story. For, and I think what David is doing here is reintroducing it to tell a story and becomes a mirror of our predicament, you might say. And that's what's interesting about it to me, the idea of beginning to use that again uh, in a somewhat neoclassical style, but of course, uh, uh, as opposed to painting it, uh, creating this scene, which is a reflection of our time today, whether it's in a cathedral or whether it's in a uh, museum or whether it's in a Vegas. Uh, in Vegas, the whole story of the house of or the town of temptation. Yeah.